Hey, 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 everybody. Today, I want to talk about gratitude. We haven't done a gratitude podcast in a while, and I believe that gratitude is such an important part of our lives and our business. And coming off of the Thanksgiving holiday here in the U.S., I just felt like it was really appropriate. And I want to break down one of the posts that I've done recently on Facebook that got a lot of traction for being controversial. So stick around. You're listening to Marketing Tips with Melissa podcast. Welcome to Marketing Tips with Melissa podcast. And now your host, Melissa Jakubovic. So when it comes to gratitude, it's just one of these words that we hear all the time. Yes, show gratitude, have mindfulness, be thankful for things, you know, think about what you're thankful for. And sometimes it becomes very cliche. But we've just celebrated the Thanksgiving holiday here in the U.S. And I wanted to share a few things that I'm thankful for. You know, this year I suffered an injury and I had a major knee surgery. And I found out recently I need to have a second surgery, unfortunately. And it has really stopped me from doing things that I love to do. Going to friends' houses because I can't use stairs. Dancing, of course, because I'm also a professional dancer. And just being able to have mobility, general mobility. And it's brought the morale down a little bit here inside of my mind. Um, So it's very interesting to take that situation that feels physically painful, emotionally painful, and actually kind of makes me feel bad about myself because dancing is my passion and it feels like it's been taken away from me right now temporarily and hopefully temporarily and I'll get it back. But these are the times when gratitude matters the most. These are the times where I have to step up and say, despite all of the things that are going on, I need to find gratitude. What am I thankful for? Where are the positives in my life and in my business? And I'm grateful for my kids and I'm grateful for my family and I'm grateful for my business and my team and my clients and my students and I'm grateful for all of the engagement I get on social media and I'm grateful for those that know me the best and are close with me and check in on me and I'm just grateful for my life. You know, not everybody has life. And there's been some losses in my life and just focusing on the fact that I'm still here every day and I can make an impact, I can work towards my goals, I can still achieve things despite all the times that things are hard or challenging or unknown or make me feel like I'm doing the wrong thing at the wrong time or I'm never going to get through this and there have been many challenges this year for me both personally and professionally but to look at the big picture and say this is a blip in time and I'm grateful that I'm still here every day getting to wake up and work towards all of my passions and make this place a better world and better myself and try to strengthen my relationships I'm just really grateful for that. So a few weeks ago, I posted on Facebook, repeat after me, I choose to feel good in every situation. And a lot of people were like, yes, great. Thanks for the reminder. Yes, it's wonderful. And a few people felt personally attacked by this. Maybe they were going through something rather traumatic or there were things going on in the world that were not positive, happy things. And some people said they thought it felt toxic or it didn't take into account the realistic view that we're able to feel all of our emotions. And I just want to say that when I make posts, the repeat after me posts, or positive affirmations that I post every day on my Facebook page, this is to have a different perspective, to stay in the positive, to look towards someone who finds the positives in every situation. It is not to make a blanket statement that says, you are not allowed to be sad, you are not allowed to feel unhappy. You're not allowed to go do whatever you need to do alone or to feel however you want to feel. Of course you are. And I feel that way too sometimes. But I think it's nice 
to have a different perspective shining on you, especially when you're in those hard times. I'm inviting you to join Marketing with Intention, the only program focused on helping healers and coaches just like you get consistent leads to fill your calendar with no ad spend. This is my hands-on coaching experience to enhance your marketing and increase your income. Let's get you more clients. In Marketing with Intention, you'll have the strategy, systems, and support to see massive results from me and my top coaches with opportunities to get help every single day. Join us at marketingwithintention.com. So I just found out that I need to have a second surgery. And for those people who know me really well, that first surgery was very traumatic. I'd never had a surgery before. I was very scared. I had several panic attacks and it's not something I ever wanted to do. I didn't want anyone to ever cut into my body and try and fix things. And finding out that I need to have a second surgery is kind of like the worst news I've ever heard. (laughs) But in perspective, it's not. And when I spoke to people close to me about it, they tried to show me the positive side of things. So I try to be the positive light for you in your business and in your life. When things aren't going well, you know, you can come to my Facebook page and you can feel that positive energy. So not to take things personally, I think is good, and to take everything with a grain of salt. Meaning, do I choose to feel good in every situation? Yes, I try to. I try to choose to feel good in every situation because I know that feeling good in a situation is a choice. But it's not to say that you're not seen or you're not heard when you're going through something traumatic or if you've been through a horrible experience for me to say, choose to find happiness in this situation. I understand that situations can be hard. I understand that life can take us down paths we never wanted. And I also understand that business can be hard and entrepreneurship can be hard. And sometimes you feel like you're failing all the time. But it is a choice to say, you know what? I'm going to find the good in this situation. I'm going to find the good in my life. I'm going to find the good in my business. I'm going to choose to be grateful and find things to be thankful for. And that is what I want you to take away from this podcast episode. That's what I want you to take away from every post of positivity that I have on my social media posts and channels. And that's what I want you to walk away with. Knowing that times can be tough. They can be trying. It can happen to everyone. In fact, it does happen to everyone, whether they share it with you or not. There is no perfection. But just to sit back and say, Can I choose to feel good in this situation? Can I find a drop of happiness, a little bit of positivity? Can I find something to be grateful for? And it's going to shift our mindsets. It's going to allow you not to be stuck for too long. It's okay to feel sad or depressed or anxious or frustrated. But just also know that there is another side to that and to reach for that often so you don't get stuck there. People are here to support you. You're not alone. Life is hard. This is a journey. And there are times where we find out information we didn't want to hear. There's times where things happen that we didn't want to see or we didn't want to be a part of. There's times where we're grieving the loss of a person or of an idea, of a dream, or of anything that we want to get our hands on that we feel is slipping away. And sometimes I feel that way too. But I choose to find things to be grateful for because there is always something to be grateful for and you can always find the silver lining and search for the positivity no matter how hard it is it does shift your perspective and it makes this life and your business just a little bit sweeter okay i hope this helps and i'll talk to you soon thanks for listening to the marketing tips with melissa podcast at www.marketingtipswithmelissa.com Oh wait, before you go, I've got a super special invitation for you, so listen up. Join thousands of spiritual women, entrepreneurs, coaches, healers, and business owners in a cozy community to learn effective and aligned strategies to grow and scale your business through organic marketing and so much more. And for a limited time, when you join my free community, you will also get a free copy of my book, Abundance of Aligned Clients and Consistent Income. Join the Spiritual Women Entrepreneurs community at spiritualwomenentrepreneurs.com to claim all your free gifts. See you on the inside.